What is good, everybody? It's your boy Kenny Child. We are back with another reaction video. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for joining me on the channel today. If you're new, subscribe to the team right now. I'm gonna wait for you guys to do it. Yes, sir. Now go follow me on Instagram at Kenny Child Jr. Go follow me on Twitter at Child Media. Links in the description down below. But welcome back to the channel, you guys. We have a really fun video today. We're about to react to my boy Kaisa's all-time Jordan 1 collection. This should be really dope. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to drop my own sneaker collection video. I'm about to do that. It's dropping this weekend. Like I said, I've been trying to get a lot of my old shoes from my old house. Um, so yeah, man, it's gonna, I'm trying to make it as, as, I'm trying to make it as far as possible for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy it, so, but yeah, man, today, about to just get into Kites' sneaker collection, all Jordan 1s, I'm excited, because this is one of my favorite shoes, let's get into it. What is going on, Dream Crew family, welcome back to the Underdog Season. 45th episode of the underdog season in this video we're gonna show you guys my entire jordan one collection now this is actually because of you guys I i'm expecting a lot of heat you guys i'm talking about like kais kais is the man for sneakers that's pretty much that that's what he's known for you know what i'm saying um so i'm really expecting some crazy crazy heat y'all you guys on my instagram with a poll what would you guys like to see jordan one collection was the highest voted before we get into that i kind of wanted to break down what my days have been like obviously with what's going on everybody's been home me and mina actually started to isolate ourselves probably like a week before it was like recommended to do so me and mina decided to just stay away from everyone not hang out with people not go around and just stay home so we've been Doing this a week longer than most people i feel like so we basically have our daily routine that honestly i kind of like it which is kind of weird now to start things off i usually beg mina to make me a coffee because literally right when i wake up i feel like i needed to start being productive so every morning mina makes me coffee okay all right we're getting into a little coffee coffee setting all right all right y'all i want to snip skip to the sneaker collection my Good. computer check my emails but at the same time my gaming setup here so i'll be playing some fortnite i try to be productive and do a little bit of both but sometimes i'll get sidetracked it just depends on how caught up i am on all my work but yeah definitely gaming has been a huge thing for me wow what you playing kais what's up how we have been in the house now although yo the volume's a little low i don't know if it's me y'all hold up let me double check something this is good is it just me or hmm. I don't know we have been preaching to stay home a lot you also yes, gotta get outside and I'll explain more on how that makes sense on this clip alright guys so although I've been pretty much alright we need we need to skip to the sneakers I do, I do agree with them, y'all. I mean, we all gotta stay inside. I've been you saying that, you guys. Um, lifesaver has been Amazon. Me and Mina go Amazon crazy. Whether it's buying, clean, I'm going to calm. Really came in that through the bed. We could put it, but so yeah, we cop the treadmill. I think this is the. Is that a Supreme yeah, treadmill? It gets the job done. <laughs> That's some hype. That's some hype shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, we cop the treadmill. Make a website, get that for you when they need to learn some shoe I'm customizing. So that I may literally keep rolling in. And every time we get a package, we wash right here. Food, we store like once a line people to rent. Like the battles, the vibe. This is a day in the life right here, y'all. Something at those, we all the different shows that I've always get the thing. Here we go. Oh, here it is, y'all. Here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, y'all. That now, now we get into the juicy stuff. Um, yeah, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. But before we, I want to say, you know, like like Heis is preaching, stay inside. He's doing the right thing. I agree with him. I haven't been outside the crib, y'all. Um, if anything, I just go get food. But now I'm not even going to get food. I'm really just buying groceries hand sanitizer I'm, I'm wiping all that bad boy off disinfecting spray all that bad boy and i'm cooking my own food at home from now on like i'm not going outside to buy food anymore i don't care all 
Alright guys, here we go. If you guys own an Air Jordan 1, I need you guys to hit the thumbs up. I feel like every single person watching this should have a pair of Jordan 1s in their collection. Yes I sir. I expect this video to get a ton of likes. Please, if you own a pair of Jordan 1s, whether it's a low top, a mid top, or a high top, yes, hit sir. the like button right now so I can know how many people own Jordan 1s. So let's get it started. First off, we got the Lance Mountain Jordan 1. And if you guys remember, these ones were all white and then I took the paint off. Next up, we got the Flyknit Jordan 1s okay. in red colorway. Recently, me and Mina talked about these. These were a gift by Jordan Brand to us when we got engaged. So this one is forever going to be in our collection. These are actually super comfortable. Probably the most comfortable Jordan 1 ever. This Th those shoes are slept on, you guys. These right here, these are slept on. I remember the, uh, they had the royal blue ones too. Um, I didn't really like them, but I had saw my friend had a pair and I was like, man, those actually kind of clean in person i saw it online um i mean I, yeah like I, I missed out on them already this one right here is probably the best sneaker of all time you can try to argue with me forever and we're all gonna have our own opinions but in my opinion the chicago jordan one is the best sneaker and the best colorway of all time it is so perfect the leather the way it creases this is probably one of my favorite sneakers in my entire those are clean bro those are clean all right the next one pretty funny story obviously these used to be high top and then they i turned them into low top it was like like a little trend that was going on everybody who has seen these on feet when i wore them tells me that they look 10 times better on feet they they look they look 10 times better on like just holding it bro please take my word for it sticking to the low tops we got the lance mountain jordan one low sbs i think they look better without the khaki on them i, I do like the khaki piping and the way Sheesh. it looks and it just gives the shoe a more of a interesting vibe. Now, some would say that this is probably the best quality Jordan 1 to ever be made. The Shattered Backboard Jordan 1s. This is the original Shattered Backboard. My favorite color is orange, so this being like one of the first orange Jordan 1s that ever had hype to it. You Clean. know, I needed them in my collection, me being the hype beast I am. But I just fell in love with the shoe. The quality is insane. Speaking of Shattered Backboard, Shattered Backboard 2.0. Now, these were actually given to me by Jordan Brand. Prices are crazy on these now. I think these go for a thousand dollars. For real, so, bro. I don't know why. Aren't as good as 1.0. You know, obviously the 1.0 is like I don't know. For some reason, they just decided to go all out with that one. Ever since then, the other shattered backboards have not lived up to the hype of the. Install honey facts, on the laptops facts, on the table. Where's the shattered backboards are nice. Though. Now you might be lie. wondering why he's installing honey. It's because first one but it, it, it did stay true to the original orange colorways and speaking of shattered backboards again we've got the newest shattered backboards Ooh. right here i can't even i didn't really like those y'all they they they, they, I don't know. They, they weren't for me man i don't know it just what do, what do y'all think man like the new ones the newest ones i didn't really like oh, but yeah this was the pair that was originally all glossy but i had one of my homies de-gloss it for me the gloss is all gone oh damn yeah i was about to say they do look a little different damn we could do that yeah the gloss just makes it kind of like ugh. like I, I i don't like i don't like shiny shoes like that so hey that is that that looks way better way better five to it next up we got a collaboration with jordan brand and nigel sylvester and the shoe's supposed to look like he beat these up and he rode his bike in them but it's like a yellow vibe it looks like it's from like 50 years ago the swoosh over here looks like it came off i don't know if you guys can see that but the swoosh looks like it fell off and i love that kind of material y'all is a 3m so it's so dope quality is really good on this shoe they use really good leather on this shoe the shoe doesn't get enough credit for that the laces don't come like this i actually took the laces off of my union jordan ones and put them on here and i don't know how i feel about them but i never took them off what do you guys think do you think it looks cool i love when they put the mini swoosh right there on the toe it's such a dope oh that's thing. clean or you can do this, which is put a jump man on the toe these right here are the eric costin jordan one low sbs these did not like people didn't go crazy for these and it, i don't know why this is such a dope colorway i like them i like jordan one lows i've always loved jordan one lows. that's fire Another classic colorway right here the black toe jordan one kind of on the same level as the Heat. chicago's like such a classic colorway can't go wrong with them happy that i have them in my collection yes sir Sticking with the classics we got the shadows right here quality is good on this one this is when they i'm not a big fan of the shadow ones y'all what do you what do you what do y'all feel y'all like these all the OG colorways during that year and shadows are 
Definitely up there is one of the best. This next Jordan 1 has skyrocketed in price. These things are going for like three to four thousand dollars. When I bought these, I think I paid like fourteen hundred dollars, which I thought UNC was ones price. And I'm talking about the satin red oh. Jordan 1. This is uh, they're thirty four hundred right now. What the f a limited shoe, so there is only 500 pairs in the world. 346 of 501. The shoe is so fire, man. It's a classic red colorway. Just everything being satin. Even the quilted insert and the satin soft liner. Like, this shoe is so comfortable. The only problem with this one was a women's shoe, bro. I wish they made it, like, a men's release. Um, yeah. I mean, those shoes are pretty heat. I've seen them in person, too. Because of the materials. So, yeah, these are, uh... I'm happy I have these. Fragment Jordan 1. Honestly, Ooh. one of the most hyped up colorways ever. I think these are good ah, for ah. three to four to five. You get a touch, bro. Right That's now. some I heat. Checked recently, but I know the prices have definitely gone up on these. Man, it's crazy how all it takes was that little stamp right there to make people go crazy. Never going to get rid of these. These will always be in my collection because it's such a, such a beautiful and classic shoe. I mean, it's not an OG colorway, but it kind of has the OG colorway vibe. I'm happy with these. Union yeah, those are fire. Ones. Now, I did used to have the blue colorway which was the la exclusive used to like that one more but as i wore this one more this one really became a favorite of mine this shoe looks so good on feet if i see someone else wearing it or if i see mina wearing her pairs i just i look at it i'm like those are so dope i appreciate it more if they do another collab like this in more colorways i'll take it like you can make a million of these and we won't get sick of it maybe if it's a yeezy 350 we'll get sick of it but yeah, if it's a Jordan 1. <laughs> Shots fired at easy 350. <laughs> Jordan brand blessed me with was the no photo they sent these to me to wear to complex con and they actually gave me a pair to give away at complex con but yeah man these are super dope such a funny concept like they literally put a whole bunch of bro that's so dope that kai gets free kicks man that honestly that's my dream y'all just to get some free shoes like I, one day y'all one day i gotta just keep grinding get grinding but truly truly inspirational to see phrases funny things that just usually wouldn't say on a sneaker like not for resale please crease wear me and then my favorite on the inside it says sorry this pair is not numbered general release which is funny because that's fire it actually wasn't a general release it was actually pretty pretty rare you guys yeah. are probably sick of me saying that jordan brand blessed me with these but jordan brand did bless me with these and these are the top three patent leather gold colorway this release golden toe con and the cool story behind these is that they actually Actually sent these to me like two days before oh they they're different the out so i had these in my possession and i couldn't show anybody like nobody i couldn't show anyone until they gave me permission so imagine having a shoe that nobody has has seen and you're not allowed to post it like it was such a big tease but i was so excited that jordan brand trusted me with these shoes and they gave them to me to wear to complex con and i was literally wearing them while people were, were waiting in line like i was that douchebag who came to a sneaker release wearing the sneakers. Like, <laughs> like it's such a bad thing, but honestly, I, I was so happy and I felt like the man wearing these. Now our first- That boy was probably flexing them like this. Hey, hey, hey. Jordan 1 mid of the Jordan 1 collection video is the plot Jordan 1. I opened up a box that Jordan sent me. What is these that? Are these are dope because like a lot of the plot shoes that came out last year, if you take off this like satin upper, it shows another shoe under and the shoe under is is actually the gold top threes which is pretty dope I wow do really like the swoosh on here it kind of looks like it's like the yarn is going undone all the way to the back our last few jordan ones Damn, that's are fire probably the most hyped in my collection so we got the travis scott lows okay I got my crep pill in here like I said earlier, I love Jordan 1 Low, so the fact that they released a Travis Jordan 1 Low and they did include that backwards swoosh, I was really happy about that. Hey. Everything about the shoe is just so dope to me. I love brown Jordans, like even the Mocha 3s, and then obviously I'm going to show you the Travis Highs too. One of my favorite Jordans in my collections. One. Th those are fire, y'all. Those are, the, man, like, I'm, but I'm not paying for more than $500 for these shoes. I'm just keeping it true. I'm not paying more than $500 for any shoe, bro. My favorite Jordans. 
ever. You can call me a hype beast, call me whatever you want, but I just love this shoe, the quality, how I got it months before the rest of the world because I got invited to a Travis Scott friends and family party to purchase it. Like, there's so many different reasons why. Of course, you did, Kais. Of course. Bro. I don't know. It just, it's like the perfect shoe for the run that Travis had during his Astro World album drop. To wrap things up on the Jordan 1 collection, we're going to show you guys the three off white Jordans. I know you guys knew that these were coming, so I'm not going to stay here and make it look like it was a big deal or a surprise or anything like that. First off, we got the Euro exclusive Jordan 1s. Probably the most wearable. You could literally wear this with anything because it's a. Ooh, God. God damn, man, Kai's Kai's got a collection, bro. I don't, I can't, I might not be able to even follow up with all this, bro. All white sneaker, pretty cool, cause my pair is actually a promo sample. These were not sent to me by Jordan Brand. I had to purchase these, but I purchased them from Cool Kicks, and I actually bought my pair and Mina's pair at the same time, and then I actually surprised her with these shoes for her birthday, I believe it was. So there's a cool backstory on these. Next up, we got the UNC okay. Jordan One. Not my favorite of the three. This is my third favorite. What? That's his third favorite, bro. Damn, that, that's probably my favorite, bro. This looks so Sometimes clean I'm still. Like, I don't want this shoe anymore. I, I decide whether or not I want to sell them or not, but then I'm just like... Hit me up, Kai. I'm about to text you right now. What's good? What size? Collect them all. You got to have this in the collection. So I haven't got rid of these yet, but it's not the most wearable. It's not my favorite, but I just keep it because why not? The Chicago Off-White Jordan. Ooh. Bro, these going for like six thousand bro One. imagine taking the og best colorway ever on the best silhouette ever and making it the hype beast version there it is this is the best hype beast version of it's it probably now, the resale shoe. price of the shoe right now shows how hyped up these are right now i think these are going for like five thousand dollars and i did write my name on the inside of these <laughs> if i ever lose my shoes i'll just look for my name and I'll be able to find them. So yeah, guys, that was my entire... Wait, let me double check. Okay, yeah, that was my entire Jordan 1 collection. Let me know what you guys think is the best Jordan 1 in my collection. And oh, this also, is just... what is your favorite Jordan 1 of all time? And don't forget, if you own a Jordan 1, whether it's a mid, a low top, or a high top, like this video. I want to see how many likes it can get because I really want to see how many people actually have a Jordan 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of showing you guys what our day is like during this whole craziness if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe i'm gonna be uploading a few dope videos over the next few days stay tuned more videos on the underdog season i'll see you guys on the next video peace yeah man hey kai's had some heat in there obviously we expected it um yeah man that was dope and it was really cool to, i mean kind of like i, I kind of understand this day because i'm going through it um so you know i just went to the sneaker part but be sure to go subscribe much love to you guys for always showing support road to 110k we almost there baby much love catch you later next time peace